The 21 game lineup of the SNES Classic is outstanding. Not only does it compile some of the greatest games of all time, but it also has the previously unreleased Star Fox 2. But for as great as the roster is, it is missing a few classics. Here are 9 games we feel are missing from the SNES Classic. Quintet's 1991 cult favorite does a fantastic job of doing the impossible. It fuses an action platformer with an awesome city building simulator. Hopping back and forth between slicing down mythological beasts and rebuilding a civilization is an incredibly interesting mechanic that few games since have cribbed from. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome that the SNES Classic comes with Earthbound and Final Fantasy VI, but there is one RPG missing from that holy trinity. Chrono Trigger is not only one of the best Super Nintendo games, but it's straight up one of the greatest games ever made. It's nice that the SNES Classic shows Rare some love with the original Donkey Kong Country, but it would have been great to go a step further and include the sequel, Diddy's Conquest. It's a bigger, more ambitious game that improves on the already fantastic original in nearly every way. Long before Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon taught us about the joys of life on the farm. Who knew that planting seeds, watering your fields, and harvesting your crop could be so much fun? Plus, the SNES Classic could use a game where you can get married. Illusion of Gaia is a criminally underplayed action RPG with some really neat ideas. While the smart puzzles and fun combat are familiar, the interesting hook here is the ability to transform into different characters with completely unique abilities. Mario Paint is too good for this world. This bizarre collection of minigames and creation tools allowed us to make some truly strange pieces of impressionist art. That said, having this in the SNES Classic would have required Nintendo to also bundle in the strange mouse peripheral. Okay, so this one is a bit of a cheat. Super Mario All-Stars gathers all three NES Mario games and gives them a visual makeover. As a bonus, you can throw your controller over and over at the incredibly difficult lost levels. Regardless, it's pretty awesome to play through the evolution of Nintendo's flagship series. One thing missing from the SNES Classic is a solid puzzle game, and the obvious choice here is Tetris Attack. Themed after characters introduced in Yoshi's Island, this smart spin on the classic formula marked the beginning of the Puzzle League series. LucasArts homage to all things horror movies is one of the most entertaining two-player co-op games the Super Nintendo has to offer. Using everything from water guns to weed whackers to take down giant ants, UFOs, and chainsaw-wielding maniacs is an absolute blast. So, which games would you have loved to see as part of this collection? Let us know, and if you're still on the fence, check out our review of the SNES Classic.